Okay, today we're going to do a project. It's going to be like a round logo. All right. So starting out with a 700 by 700 canvas here and uh, just go with a white background. Okay. And then first thing we'll do, open a new layer. Call it dot. And that's exactly what it'll be. 10 pixels by 10 pixels. Okay. It's right here in this upper corner. Do an alignment tool. Click on it. Go with center and center. So it's right in the center. And we're going to go up to... Well, actually, let's start a new layer. 700 by 700. Drop that down. Actually, we want it. We want it right above. We want to be right above our background here. Okay, the dot's going to always stay on top. Go up to 400. Grab your ellipse tool. Oh, no, paint tool. And we want to be on that dot. Okay. I'm just going to paint a black dot in here, right in the center. Go to layer, uh, layer to image size. Now we'll go on to this other layer. We'll just call this back. It's going to be like a background thing. And we will go to our ellipse tool. Uh, expand from center, fixed, one to one. And we'll go out, drop this down to 100, zoom, and go down here to size on the ellipse and plug in 400 by 400. There we go. Bucket fill that with black. Okay. Go select, shrink, and that black's going to be a border. So shrink it for whatever size a black border you want or if you don't want a black border you don't need to have one and from here we've just shrank it we're going to go to a gradient i'm going to pick a gold gradient gold all right uh radial you can do whatever you want for yours of course um i'm just going to do this so i can see my dot there we go so I'm going to be right on the center and go out. And that looks good right there. Um, select none. New layer. It's going to be called text. Okay. Go to 400. Go to ellipse, drag it out, go to 100, and I'm going to do mine, I already know it's going to be about 330, 330 by 330, okay. From here, we're going to, because that, that's nice spacing for putting a text along it. So we're going to put text along it. We're going to create that selection to a path. Create a path out of it. Go back to our layer. Select none. Text layer. Make sure you're on that. And grab text. Use any font you want. And size. I'm going to start out with about 50. See how that works for me. And... This is meant to go about halfway around, okay, for this logo. Use any font you want. And then uh, 
Well, that looks a little big. Gonna slim it down just a little bit. Put about 45 for me. You'll pick whatever looks good for you and try that. Text along path. That looks good. Going with that. Garbage can this text layer. Or this floating selection for text. Garbage can that. Don't need it. Grab your rotate tool. Go to your path. Turn that eye off on the path. Go back, make sure you're on your text layer. For this uh, rotate tool, we're on the rotate tool. Make sure you're on your path. Okay. And then click and turn it to where you want. And that's looking pretty good. Right about there. That looks good enough anyway for this. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Let's check that path out. Yep, it's like that now. So we're going to go path to selection. So we're making that path into a selection. Wait for those dancing lines to come up on it. Or the marching ants. Okay, go back. Make sure you're on this test layer or text layer. And we will paint it a dark gray. Okay. Uh, paint. And we're going to need a big brush. And we're going to paint her up. Paint her up. And we will duplicate that layer. So we have a text copy layer now. While we are in this... Uh, mode here or in have this already selected we're going to grab our ellipse tool and make sure we are on intersect mode okay intersect mode on the ellipse tool go to 400 and just start carrying this out and we want to bring it to about there or so and then drop down to 100 so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to take this, so we're cutting our letters in half, so to speak, with this circle. That looks pretty good. I think I might go right there. And make sure you're on this top uh, text copy and do a delete. Go to the bottom text and grab paintbrush and go with a nice light colored gray. Click OK. All right, grab a fuzzy brush. We can turn this top layer on. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Grab a fuzzy brush. Grab a big one and two. I'm going to size it down to a two. You want your fuzzy brush to be about the size of your text. And then we're going to take this and go along the bottom of the text. Okay? So we're just going to lighten the bottom side up on this text. Okay, like that there. Now we'll go up here to this copy. Remember we took off took that bottom layer off, so we'll go to select none. See how the bottom half's missing because we did that. And we'll lock the alpha channel in. Switch this over to a white. Using that same brush, we're going to go right through the center of the text.
But yeah, we did that delete, so the bottom half's missing on the on these letters. Okay. We'll turn that on, and that's what we get. Okay. From here, go to this bottom text layer, do an alpha to selection. And we're going to do a script tool on it. You don't have to, but it'll look nice, I think. And we're going to do a pillow emboss. We're going to do a two. And I'm going to leave everything else at defaults. <laughs> okay. Turn uh, select none. Go down to this back background here, and then uh, create a new layer from that. So we're on a layer right above that one, and we will go to 400. Clips tool. We do not want to be on this intersect. We want just regular mode. Once again, start a selection there and go to 100. And then pull this out and drag that circle so it's just under your text there. So for me, it's right under that P. And then we will do, make sure you're on that right, the correct layer. Do a bucket fill. I'm just going to fill mine in with red. Okay. All right. Select none. Now, where are we at with time? I might have time to do this. We can put in a logo in the center, do an open as layers, pick whatever logo you already have from before that you used in the past or whatever that you want to throw in this image in the center of it. Okay, I will do this here. I'll do it. Uh, I need to make sure I have a alpha channel selected. Clear that out. And then I will do an invert on mine. And I will grab an eraser tool. And I will erase this game core out of my image. I'm using a fuzzy. Okay, select done. We're out of time. Another minute. Okay, gonna size this down, scale it down, link it together to keep the keep it intact. About there sounds good. Scale it, move it. Make sure I'm on movie active layer and boom. There the image size. And there you go. Around logo. We're done here. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this project. And I'll probably give details on it on a different video and link to it.